Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today I'm going to be creating animations inside JavaFX using threads. So there's also a built-in version in JavaFX, but I'm going to be reusing threads just to demonstrate how it works. And what I will be creating is a very simple application where I have a text area. I can start, and it's going to be switching on and off, kind of animating. And then whenever I click stop, it stops, and I can switch it on and off or stop it. So now I am going to start creating this program. Let's get started. So first I create a new JavaFX application and I connect it to my scene builder where I have created a very simple setup that have a text with its XID text and a start button and a stop button, which is started or stopped on the click on the mouse. So I'm just going to now going to create the program. So and start the text start turning on and off and on stop it stops. So what I would do is I would create a new class inside a sample. I'm just gonna call it called text animator. And I am gonna be implementing runnable because I'm gonna be using threads. And inside this text animator I am gonna take my text field as an input. Because I'm going to be changing my text field or setting the text of the text field. And I am going to have a string. String value, which I'm going to be setting. So I'm going to be setting the string value to something. And then changing the text field to the value of the string. I should call this text and then call this text area and I am simply gonna have another variable which I'm gonna call time just gonna defining how often it's gonna be blinking often it's gonna be turning on and off and in my constructor I'm gonna take my text area and my text int as my inputs not my string I'm just gonna def be defining something so now inside my run method I will be creating a while loop while true and all of this is going to be inside try block open it at close it so while true I am going to be creating or actually checking if the text area is empty or not so I will just simply do if my text area dot get text dot trim dot length equals to zero so if it's empty then I would set my text to let's just do hello world example because the point is we can't directly change the text inside our text area we actually need to create like a JavaFX thread which will allow us to implement things regarding the JavaFX application. But I'll be demonstrating shortly. Otherwise, if it's not empty, we're just gonna set our text to empty. So if it's empty, change to text. If we got text, change to empty. So in this way, we're gonna be switching on and off, on and off with text. So now what I will do is simply have a JavaFX thread running by using platform dot run later inside going to create a new runnable which will then override a new run method which is going to be the method that's going to be running inside my JavaFX application so this is kind of running in the Java area and in the JavaFX area not exactly but that's how you should think of it and here I'm just simply gonna have my text area dot set text to the text value. And then we're gonna be catching our catch. No, firstly, actually we need to define because right now it's just gonna be doing it like infinitely fast. Not really, but kinda. So we would need to still inside our while loop. We're gonna do thread dot sleep and then we're going to be sleeping our time 
Uh, now because we are sleeping, we need to add an interrupted exception. So now we can go back to our controller and I would do it inside my, let's actually just create a object to do it after my text. So I would create a, actually made quite a big mistake here. Let's fix it because a class should always be with a capital letter. There we go. So our text animator, text animator is going to be a new text animator. We're then going to first give it the text area and time to just 100 milliseconds. And then on start, I would create a new thread. which is going to take my text animator and I will just be starting it. So let's have a look if it works. So this actually doesn't work because I forgot how JavaFX is loading things, which is actually, I don't think it's too bad, but I actually think you need to remember sometimes that actually how it works is it's loading everything. Oh, it's loading the code before we load the window. So right now, when we're creating our text animator, we are passing a thread, not a thread, a text area which is actually null because it hasn't been created yet on the screen, technically. So what we need to do is implement initializable, which will create initialize method, which is a method called after the scene is done loading. So I would put my text animator object to be created into initialize. I would then remove my text animator, text animator object. So I'm creating it outside, but I'm first initializing it inside my initialize statement. So now if I did everything correct, it should work, but let's first add to the stop button so we can edit. So we can actually stop it from just running wild. And again, I forgot we actually need to create everything outside our object so we can access them again. Like, like that. And then I would be able to see thread dot interrupt. So now it should work if we run it. We have our text area. We now click start. It's gonna be start switching on and off. And when I stop it, it's going to stop and we're going to get our interrupted exception, but it's kind of how we do it. So we simply stop it by actually catching interrupt exception. That's at least how I made it work in this way. So we can just remove this because it's kind of the way we're going to be doing it by actually doing it simply. So this is the basic setup of how to use threads inside JavaFX. And there's a few things I didn't remember, but I think we learned them along the way that we need, especially for example, we need to create it inside our initialize statement because everything is not loaded before initialize. And inside our text animator, inside our run statement, we first create like the basic logic. And then we actually have the logic regarding JavaFX components inside a platform that run later where we're going to get creating a new thread so we're going to have it like a thread inside a thread but that's all i have now if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and i wish you all a wonderful day